عمل أهل المدينة The practice of the people of Medina Maybe the most characteristic of all of the Maliki uh, principles Of course, all of the four Imams rec- uh, recognized that one should follow the fatwas of the Sahaba But for Imam Malik, uh, the fatwas of the Sahaba who remained in Medina uh, is preeminent Uh, and this is so important that he has this famous position which is that if a, a hadith, a sound hadith which is narrated just by a single isnad, a had, even if it's in Bukhari, conflicts with what the people of Medina are doing in Malik's day, then you don't follow the hadith, you follow the practice of the people of Medina. And that's, that's his position. So often after citing hadiths, he will say something like الأمر المجتمع عليه عندنا there's this hadith, there's that hadith what we agree on doing is X by which he means the practice of the people of his uh, city um, and this again represents the pragmatic non-ideological uh, vision of uh, Maliki Madhab sometimes it's compared to English law as opposed, say, to French law. French law is like based on a philosophical vision of ethics, and then every little law is deduced from that. Uh, Maliki law is a bit more like English law. There's a lot of case law, a lot of local precedent. It's like the common law. Um, it's based on uh, uh, historic norms, practices, what people are actually doing. And that gives it a tremendous sort of link to human reality. It's very unusual to find a fatwa in the Maliki Madhab that just seems to be inhuman or not to make sense. And it's also important in the practice of the judges. Uh, the judge in a Maliki court has a lot of leeway to determine things on the basis of his own intuition and his own wisdom in order to avoid miscarriages of, of justice. So he has this letter to Alayf bin Sa'ad, and we'll, we'll conclude, inshallah, with this, in which he's expressing his love for the city of Medina and his belief that this is the preeminent source of legal wisdom in Islam. Balagani annaka tufti nasa bi asha'a mukhtalifa mukhalifa lima alayhi jama'atun nasi indana. So he's writing to Laith bin Sa'ad in Egypt and he said, I've heard that you give people fatwas uh, on the basis of various things which differ from what we, um, uh, our community is doing here. Uh, it's right that you should be afraid for yourself you should follow that which we hope we will be saved by because Allah says in his book and the first comers the predecessors of the muhajirin and the ansar which indicates the, the primacy of the city of Medina وقال تعالى فبشر عباد الذين يستمعون القول فيتبعون أحسنا Give good news to my servants who hear the word and follow the best in it فإنما الناس تبع لأهل المدينة التي بها نزل القرآن All the people are just followers of the people of Medina uh, the city in which the Quran was revealed So this is Malik's characteristic conception Islam is not just an abstract legal philosophy or even a mass of hadiths which you follow at face value even though they're kind of fragmented, not part of um, a complete uh, system derived by a jurist. Instead, it's the holistic image of the practice of, of the people of Medina because they have narrated generation after generation, not many generations in his time, just three Uh, the practice of the Prophet rather than just got it through a single chain of narrators. So he so, cites his teacher, uh, Rabi'at al uh, Ra'i, Elfun an elf khayrun min wahidin an wahid. Uh, the transmission of a fatwa from a thousand who get it from a thousand is better than a hadith that comes from one scholar from one scholar. So that's his emphasis on Amal al Madina.